That's it. They're out. Good job, Jess. Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. <laughs> Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. Multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Jess. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Go, go, go! Take you down right now! Billy! 
Oscar, get over here. I'll pull you in. Come on, man. That's it. Come on. One more. Woman, she's dead when I get in there. Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. No. You're one stubborn son of a. Hey! <sighs> Problem! You got this! Damn this thing! Now! Not gonna happen! Not so good. Is the water ready? Yep. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh, no. Raptors. Still has a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? Must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder!
I think we're okay. Oh my god, those poor people! How you holding up, honey? I wanna go home! I know, sweetheart, me too. We'll be fine, I promise. Trying to bring the tower down! It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the paddock. Well, that's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels, right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. <laughs> that should free it up. Won't budge. It's brand new, so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What, you mean stand on it? Yes, ride it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down so we can stick together. Sweetheart, listen, I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Dr. Sorkin. I'll be right down. Uh, it's really stuck. Oh no, I see the problem. The whole ladder is just slightly bent. It can't slide freely. We might be able to force it. it. Must have been the crash. Looks that way. I think we're gonna need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well then we're gonna have to get creative because there are no tools up here. Holding up, honey. I want to go home. I know, sweetheart. Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. Definitely gonna have to pry it. This antenna could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open. But if I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted. It's taking so long! Dr. Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power to those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. How? I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. Okay, I've switched the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. <clears throat> Got it. If I couldn't move it by jumping on it, I'm never gonna be able to pry it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry! Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, three! Uh, you've gotta be freaking kidding me! Dad, what are we gonna do? Try again, on three. Ready? One, two, Three! No, Jess, wait! No! I'm fine, Dad! 
Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right, I'm coming down. Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry! Out of the way! I'm gonna jump for it! Okay, now up and over. I'm okay. Run, Dr. Sorkin! Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier, anyway. <laughs> so, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. I make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Ah, damn it. I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook-off was a hell of a show.